It was an ice cream cone of a day. Like a kid, I wanted it to last forever. Nice or not, this day wasn't going to last much longer for me. Unless I did something about that boat. Luckily, she wasn't moving much faster than I was. I was all set to give her skipper what for, loud and clear. Only there wasn't any skipper. Bathing beauty wasn't steering, that was for sure. What was the answer? Where is he? an experiment, a scientific experiment, an experiment of the greatest potential importance. Is running me down a part of your experiment? Well, uh, didn't expect any uh, boats in this area. It wouldn't have been testing here otherwise. The discovery's still secret. Uh, I don't suppose you know what I'm talking about, though. No, but I do know that you've been steering that boat from underwater. That's a control setup you got there. Your receiver is probably in your cabin. Uh, what's your name? What do you do? Mike Nelson. I'm a professional diver. And incidentally, uh, I do a little experimenting myself once in a while. Uh, name's Kelway. Kendrick Kelway. Uh, she's my sister, Linda. Interesting, Nelson. Very interesting. Very worth checking into. Uh, if it stands up, you'll hear from me. Why? What for? I need help. Uh, takes too much out of me. Into the water, out of the water, into the water. They say he's a genius. They do, huh? What do they say about his sister? Nothing. Well, that's the luck. Frankly, I never expected to hear from Kendrick Kelway again. A week later, though, I was working with him in Nassau, working hard. In a mansion, as it turned out, not a laboratory. Kelway wasn't just a genius. He was a Kelway. His millions had millions of their own. What is it, Mike? What is it? What? Uh, can't read my handwriting? No, I learned how to decipher that by now. But if this means what it says, 
The diver would have to remain below with that control device for at least 12 hours. Oh, impossible. Out of the question. It can't be considered for a moment. The top sheet is missing. I didn't think I could make uh, such a miscalculation. Oh, here it is. Oh, there. Yeah. The device remains below, not the diver. You're going to transform into a homing device, huh? Simple, low cost, effective. Uh, take a great deal of work, on the receiver especially, but uh, worth it. Ready to try? That's what I'm here for. Oh, this is the receiver, huh? Yes. You're the first one's ever seen it. Oh, except Linda, of course. Now, the problem is here, Mike, in the differential. Here, may we take the boat? Hello, Mike. Hi. Uh, may we? I see you removed the unit thing. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I did. Well, hello, boys. Uh, this is uh, Mike Nelson. Heard of him. We dive some, too. I'm Buck Taggart. Dan Kennedy. Hi, Dan. May we take it, the boat? Oh, surely. Uh, just don't be gone all day. I'll want to install the unit again for further tests. It's quite a gizmo. You don't mind, do you? Hey. Well, easy there. I thought it weighed a lot more. Why? Because it's worth so much? I know the way his little mind works. It's the same as mine. How much is it worth, Ken? Nine or ten million? <laughs> more than that, I hope. Uh, but I'll sell it to the government for a dollar. One dollar. A dollar? But, Linda, let's get out of here. This guy's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hey, see Mike. you later. Bye -bye. Let's go. Listen, you want me to drive you see? No. Oh. Oh, maybe Calway was a genius at that. It took him just a few days to transform the receiver and the control unit. Then we had tested it in a lagoon where no harm would be done if it didn't work. Now we were ready for the next step, a test out at sea near some reefs where the boat could be damaged or sunk. What I was looking for was the place to plant the control device, a well-charted, dangerous passageway through the reef. If the device functioned perfectly, the boat would make its way through unscathed. If the guidance were off by even a fraction of a degree, the cruiser would smash into one side of the channel or the other. Yeah, this was the place, all right. The boat would have no trouble at all piling up here. I just hoped that Ken would remember to set the engine speed at a minimum and be ready to take over personally just in case. time, on course so far, and at the right speed. it through the passage, all the way through, without a scratch. We were in business now, at least for craft this size. Hey, you freaking 
Another good day. A good, good day's work indeed, Mike. A day to feel very good about indeed. I hope you do. I do. Indeed, I do. <laughs> you need some time off. That's what you need, time off. You've been working hard, very hard. You're the one that's been working hard. <gasps> Nonsense. I feel great. Just great. Fun in the sun, anyone? Yes. Uh, Mike will join you. Oh, oh I'd love to, but uh, well, you'll be needing me, won't you? Oh, really, I won't need you. I won't. I won't need you for two or three days. Because your experiment worked or didn't work, which? Oh, it worked. It worked perfectly. The device guided the boat through the reef like a dream. Congratulations. Mike, then you'll join me. Why the layoff, Ken? Well, I need time to find a boat. A big boat. A boat big enough to prove that my device will work on Coast Guard and Navy vessels. It'll take a few days to get one. I'll let you know. Mike? Lead me to your son. I've been underwater too long. People are more fun than anybody. Linda and I sure proved it the next three days. We did Nassau. First by sports car. And then by carriage along the docks for shopping and sightseeing. We had water all around us, and we got into it, too, topside and down below. Linda was a fine swimmer. I didn't have anything to complain about when it came to water skiing, either. Uh, come to think of it, I had nothing to complain about at all. For the first time in years, I had spent three wonderful days having nothing but fun. I didn't want it ever to come to an end. Luckily for me, Linda was operating in the same wavelengths. Hey, girl, you're getting to be quite a diver. <coughs> I still get water in my lungs. <laughs> hey, uh... Does the hard-working diver like the frivolous play girl? You know it. Do I? again after lunch. Let's just skip lunch, shall we? WM2050, Mike Nelson, this is Dr. Kelly. Over. WM2050, Mike Nelson, this is Dr. Kelly. Over. Yeah, this is WM2050, Mike Nelson. What is it, Ken? Over. I did it. I went and did it. I can't figure out why. What went wrong? It was working so perfectly. Well, I'll take it easy. What'd you do? Over. Well, I bought a boat, a converted... I bought a boat, a converted PT boat. And I installed the unit and took it out to the reef, and it didn't work. It should have. The underwater control device is good for a year. Oh, we'll fix it up and try it again. N not this boat. This boat's on the reef. I am shipwrecked. Rescuing Ken Calway from the converted PT boat and getting him over to my cruiser wasn't much of a problem. The way he carried on, though, you'd think his underwater control device had insulted him by not working right. That had never happened before, Linda said. His inventions didn't dare to fail. 
no excuse for it. No excuse. No reason for malfunction. I checked and double-checked it myself. Well, it's been down there for days. Maybe, maybe it just uh, got wet and stopped. Linda, the unit I put in, it's a self-power unit. It's good for a year. Uh, no right to stop. No right at all. Simmer down now. Simmer down. You'll know what's wrong with it as soon as I bring it up. I'm not any kind of a genius, but I had the answer. I knew why Ken's control device had failed to keep the PT boat on a safe course through the reef. It was simple. I wasn't there anymore. The device hadn't just walked off the job. Somebody had moved it to another location. And the guidance unit aboard the boat had homed in on it like a dream. Nightmare type. As far as I could tell, it was still working perfectly. Well, why? Why'd they move it, Mike? Why'd they want to wreck the boat? You know anyone who doesn't particularly like you? I mean, enough to want to get rid of you. Never had an enemy in my life, never. No time, too busy for enemies. And then I'd say they wrecked that boat to get something off it. The other unit, the receiver. Well, let's go get it then. No. No, we never get them then. They're probably out there somewhere. Probably on the shore end of that reef. I bet they're gonna make a try for it soon. Underwater. Well, I'll be there waiting for them. The wrecker's plan had been simple, and so was mine. To leave them a clear field, supposedly. Keep my boat out of sight, but handy for a quick scoop-up job. Of course, they might be too smart to come out to the wreck by the surface route anyway. It didn't matter. I'd be ready for them downstairs, too. Give them time to get aboard and unbolt the guidance unit from the cabin wall. When I caught them, I wanted their hands good and red. They'd had time enough to do their job. It was my turn now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.
Come on, Dan, hurry up. I knew what you were after, but I didn't know why. Why? Money. You wouldn't believe how much it costs to live the way we do. That unit won't do you any good. You can't sell it to anybody. Can't sell it to anybody? Not in this country, you mean. But there are other places. I can't get this connection off. Yeah, I won't do any good without connections. Huh? Oh! I didn't know for sure where he was heading with that unit, but I meant to keep him company every foot of the way. Splendid, that's splendid. Just what I want, what I need. Uh, what? Don't talk so fast, I can't understand you. Yes, y yes, I I'm sure tonight will be all right. Uh, let me make sure. Uh, Mike? Uh, Mike? Yeah, what? What's what? What? I told you, I told you I was buying a boat, another big boat. Good. Mike, I need to know something. I need to know it at once. Uh, can we take delivery tonight? Uh... No, I'm sorry, Ken. I'm still way behind from this afternoon. Right? Mm-hmm. I think you can catch up. Well, let's go. Never catch up here. What in the world... What in the world are you talking about? I thought you said your brother was a genius. Back next week at the same time with another sea hunt story. Plan to be with us again, huh?
Thank you.